so this is about the front of the arm the muscles present in the front of the arm are the coracobrachialis biceps brachii and the brachialis muscle these are the muscles here you can see this is a coracobrachialis muscle which is along with the short head of the biceps so this is identified by the muscular cutaneous nerve which is piercing it and this is the coracoid process here so the coracoid coracobrachialis origin is from the coracoid process tip of the coracoid process and insertion into the middle of the medial part of the humerus this one so this is the coracobrachialis and you have biceps here biceps has two heads one is short head which is going along with the coracobrachialis and this is the long head of the biceps so short head of the biceps origin is tip of the coracoid process along with the uh, uh, coracobrachialis and this is the long head of the biceps which is arising from the supraclinoid tubercle of the scapula so insertion of these uh, biceps is into the radial tuberosity and also it gives some expansion called as bicepal aponeurosis which is attached to the ulna here upper part of the ulna coronoid process of the upper part of the ulna here so this is about the biceps and you have another muscle called as the brachialis here so brachialis origin is from the anteromedial and anterolateral surface of the humerus here starts from the middle of this uh, humerus and this is the one this is called as the brachialis muscle you can see a nerve here muscular cutaneous nerve between the two and insertion into the ulna tuberosity and also to the ulna coronal process of the ulna here so this is about the uh, muscles of the front of the arm and nerve supply for them is a muscular cutaneous nerve you can see here that is from the lateral cord you can see here and this nerve is supplying these muscles and it is becoming the cutaneous that is called as the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm muscular cutaneous nerve and the artery here is the brachial artery you can see this is a brachial artery continued from the axillary artery below the lower part of the tibis major that ends at the neck of the radius into radial artery and the ulnar artery here so the branches of the brachial artery here are nutrient artery and the you see profunda brachial artery which goes to the posterior compartment of the arm and also two branches called as the superior ulnar collateral artery and the inferior ulnar collateral artery and few muscular branches to the muscles so these are the branches of the uh, brachial artery and action of these muscles i have forgot so biceps brachii the action is a strong supinator and flexor of the elbow joint and brachialis is a flexor of the elbow joint and coracobrachialis also take part in the uh, flexion of the shoulder joint slight flexion of the weak flexor of the shoulder joint so this is about the uh, front of the arm